everybody welcome back to my channel I just want to start off by saying I'm super excited to be back filming I have been missing it but I ran into some things within myself between having COVID the no Wi-Fi and then when I did have Wi-Fi I just it basically was like kind of felt worn down and I felt like it was the universe just telling me to focus on the things that need to be focused on so that's what I did I filmed this look right here with a couple of pixie products that pixie has sent over to me and I figured if I'm gonna get back into filming I'm gonna use those awesome products but before jumping into today's video, I just want to just talk about a really awesome brand that I have recently been loving. Super excited to be working with them and collabing with them in today's video. And that brand is called Dossier. So if you guys have not heard of Dossier before, they are a brand that reproduces high-end luxury scents. A fraction of the price. So you know when you buy a fragrance, they can range from $60 to $200. Well, this brand basically creates affordability of their scents from $29 to $59 and their scents are inspired by actual fragrances that are out there what's pretty cool about this brand is that you have a 30-day trial so if you try the fragrance and you are not loving it don't worry you can go ahead and return it risk-free no question asked and get a full refund which I think is pretty awesome right like Okay, I'm gonna try this fragrance out. I'm not feeling it. I don't want it. It don't have to sit on your vanity, on your dresser, or wherever you keep it. You can send it right back, unopened, risk-free, get a full refund. So that's why I definitely really think that is awesome. So I have here two scents that's here sent over to me. So it comes in this cute compact box, right? Super small spacious and then when you open it up you have this little card here this card basically tells you the scent name what is inspired by and the notes that are in this fragrance right and right here I have aquatic coconut now this scent I have definitely love it is such a beautiful scent it smells like paradise to me okay so right here we have the top notes, middle notes, and base notes within this fragrance as well on the bottle. So not only do you have it here on the card, they put it on the bottle, right? So here, this fragrance was inspired by Maison Margalea Replica Beach Walk. Now, this scent, like I said already, it smells like paradise. It has like such a soft scent. Like it's not strong at all. And it literally smells like paradise. This is definitely a favorite of mine. And this one costs $29. Also, what I love about Dossier's brand is that they're clean ingredients, vegan, and cruelty-free. So if you are someone who's into that, this brand right here itself is definitely for you. If you're skeptical, don't be cruelty-free, vegan, and clean ingredients, which I love that it's up front with their ingredients in their products, right? Like who wouldn't want to know what they're going to be putting on their body? Another scent that I have here, it is called Floral Honeysuckle. Once again, same thing, you have the card. The Floral Honeysuckle is inspired by Gucci Bloom. Now, let me tell you something. I own a very small bottle, like the smallest bottle you can think of from Gucci Bloom. So, I did wind up loving the Gucci Bloom scent. And obviously, I did not want to spend the money on it again. So I was like, okay, it's done. Bye. Whatever. Now, this scent right here, this floral honeysuckle, it is damn near identical. You couldn't tell the difference if you have both the bottles there and you picked up the wrong one. This one right here definitely is a perfect, perfect reproduced scent of Gucci Bloom. So if you do not want to buy Gucci Bloom again, and you already owned it and you don't want to spend that money again right here this bottle is $29 definitely cannot tell the difference in between the scents I already mentioned they have clean ingredients cruelty free and vegan I also mentioned that it's risk free so you can do free returns and exchanges forever and when I say it's risk free yes this is their try the perfume before committing to them right you simply test it out the full size bottle the full size bottle it is a 50 ml bottle all right you try this full size bottle out on open don't love it you can return it refund no question asked 
I do want to mention they are no longer providing the sample size inside the box as you saw already. They used to have a little sample size right here that you would try out. This was the tester and this was the full size bottle. So they are no longer providing that because they want to reduce their use on plastic. So that's why I'm saying you can try the 50 ml bottle within the 30 days. You return it, you get the full refund. So that is the only thing I want to definitely mention and put it out there that they are no longer going to provide the small tester out. So you can definitely try the full size bottle and still return it if you're not loving it. So Dossier is big on hearing out their customers and their suggestions on future releases on their site. So definitely go ahead and give your suggestions to Dossier on future releases on scents that you want to see there at a fraction of the price. All right. So go ahead. Make sure you check out Dossier and see what fragrances they have on their site that you love that are inspired by your favorite high-end luxury scents. Okay. So now we're going to get back to the video after I go ahead and spray myself a little bit with this. All right. So stay tuned to the video. Bye. Okay, guys, let's get into it. So Pixie sent over a large package, you know, so we're going to get into this Pixie Pretties. All right. So you see how huge it is. We have a double side. You see that right there? The glorious eyeshadow palette, highlighter, you know, opposite side is the lip set and the contour set we're gonna get into this big package up close you're gonna look at the beauty the extravaganza of this pr package and i cannot wait to get into it yes so each one of these palettes that pixie sent over is a collab with a influencer so you have promise louise you have tina and you have Denise. Each one of these palettes are honestly so gorgeous. I definitely love the lip blush palette. Obviously, lip blush, you can clearly use it both ways. So as always, we are going to start with the eyes. The eyeshadow palette is a collab with Tina Young. I definitely am a neutral girl, so I definitely love the shades in here. But that blue was speaking to me. It was popping out. So you know, and you already know, I'm going to be using that. We are going to set a base. And the base we are using is from P. Louise. This is Rumor 2. Just using a regular eyeshadow, pe eyeshadow pencil, eyeshadow brush, not an eyeshadow pencil. And we're just going to go ahead and pat that down. And then we're going to pat it in with a more buffer brush I'm gonna go ahead and set that base and I'm just gonna use that top shade right there it's a really nice neutral shade and just working that around the whole entire P Louise base and next thing we are gonna go in with a TikTok trend you know that TikTok trend that's been going around using a spoon to do a cut crease well your girl is going to try it out and see how it works it's pretty self-explanatory. You use the spoon side to go ahead and cover your eye and you work with that shape of the spoon. And then you use the handle side and use the handle to do the wing area. And I'm gonna be using those two brown shades right there to create the cut crease look. And I'm just using a Morphe brush. This is from the I Love Sari collaboration, the Oasis collaboration. We are just working that eyeshadow into the shape of the spoon and creating the shape of the cut crease. You want to just keep working back and forth to create that shape. And now, as you can see, I am no longer using the spoon and I'm just working a lighter shade on top of that brown and blending it out because for me, it was just too harsh of a line and we're not looking for that harsh line. We want a nice clean cut crease line. So I'm just blending it out with that first shade you saw me use to go ahead and set the P. Louise base. 
Now using the same brush from earlier with no additional product from the P. Louise base, I'm just using that to clean under the cut crease that we just created. I felt like the eyeshadow went too under and I, I wanted to have a nice clean look. Not too sharp, but a nice clean look. And then I'm gonna go in with the handle part of the spoon and I'm gonna use that to create the eyeshadow wing. And I'm just using the same shades from the palette that we used to create the cut crease look. After we're done creating the wing look, I'm going to go in with some P. Louise base again with the same brush and just cleaning right under that area. Now I'm taking a dark brown shade from the palette and then using an angled brush to create the liner over my lash line and blending that into the wing we just created. Now I'm going back in with the Pixie eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go in with that white shimmery golden shade and I'm gonna apply that into the empty space in between the cut crease and the liner that we created and I'm gonna use a plastic well it's not really a plastic but it's like a silicone eyeshadow brush and this actually works almost like you're using your finger so if your fingers are too fat or you have long nails and you feel like shimmers apply nicely with your fingers but you just can't use your fingers this brush is it this brush is from morphe you can find it on their site it is a silicone brush that you can use for glitter and pigments and it definitely works now i'm going to go in with the p louise hints of mint base and i'm using the suave beauty thin eyeliner brush and I'm going to take that color that base right under the cut crease line that out and I'm also going to be applying this right above the winged eyeshadow look that we created as well Now we're going to go in with some glitter. This glitter is from Glitter Injections. I'm not too sure the name of it. I think it's called Princess Mia. I'm going to apply this right on top of that hint of mint base from P. Louise. And I'm using an adhesive, which is my eyeshadow adhesive that I'm using to apply the glitter on top. And the reason why I put the hint of mint on first is because I wanted it to act as a almost like the color barrier wherever the glitter doesn't hold on to it just doesn't look like a plain spot i wanted it to make the glitter pop out more because they were almost the same exact color shade now we're moving on to lashes and the mascara i'm using is the l'oreal telescopic mascara i definitely love this mascara for the days that i wear no lashes because it definitely makes me look like i have some damn lashes of my own Now the lashes we are going to be using in today's look is the style Mariah from the Bomb Extensions. Next, to start with our face, I'm going in with the Porefessional Super Setter. I definitely love using this before applying my makeup on because it acts as a primer as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I definitely love the way this primer feels. It's like a nice soft feeling on your face and the smell is amazing as well. I'm going to work that in with a brush and then press it in with my fingertips as well. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Wear Foundation. I am definitely loving this foundation. This has to be in my top three. And I'm going to be using the Morphe foundation brush that they have released when they released their second foundation on their site. That brush is amazing as well too. I always go in with that first and then I go in with a 
beauty blender or makeup sponge whichever one works for me at that time being Now going in with the Revolution Concealers, I'm going to go ahead and apply that in the usual spots. And I'm also going to be going in with the Morphe brush as well. It just does not work for only foundation. This definitely applies your concealers so good too. Like so good. Now we're gonna go in with some cream blush. This is also from Pixie. I definitely love these blushes. I am not a cream blush person, but these blush are it. They are nice and pigmented, and they're definitely something you could use on your no makeup days as well. It is so pretty. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press that all in with my makeup sponge from Shein. Now going in and setting my under eyes with my Ride or Die setting powder, translucent powder from Maybelline. This is their Fit Me Pressed Powder and going ahead and applying that under my eyes per usual. And then I'm going to go in with Beauty Bakery's Flower Translucent Powder to set the rest of my face. Now the next palette I'm using from the Massive PR is the Sculpt Palette. This is a collab with Promise and we're going to go mix those two shades in and go ahead and contour sculpt our face. Now I'm going to go in with another Pixi product. This is something they sent to me previously before. This is their quad palette. And I'm going to go in with that nice little shimmery blush. It is almost identical to the cream blush that I used. So why not use that shade as well? Now I'm going to go in with another palette from the PR package. This is a collab with Denise. I'm going to use that top highlight shade and the second shade and mix them together and get my perfect glow that I'm looking for. And let me tell you, this highlight was so pretty. It blends so nicely. Now we're going to go in with the other palette from the PR package. This collab is with Louise Rowe. And we're going to take that shade you see me pointing to and that other shade as well. And we're going to give ourselves a nice ombre lip look. I already lined my lips and I lined my lips with the Morphe Trendsetter Lip Liner.
Now I'm gonna go back and wear our eyes because I realized I did not do my bottom waterline and I'm gonna use that blue you saw me pointing to earlier that I absolutely fell in love with and we're just gonna go ahead and smoke that out onto our bottom lash line. And now taking that icy blue shade, we're gonna apply that into the inner corner of our eyes and blend it slightly into that more darker blue that's on our bottom lash line area. After that, we're gonna take a NYX icy liner for our waterline and we're gonna go ahead and obviously line our waterline with that and blend it into the eyeshadow as well. Now we're gonna take a lip gloss. This lip gloss is from the Oasis collab with Morphe and I Love Sadi. And we're gonna go ahead and top that on our lips because I have been just feeling glossy lips these days. So can't go out a glossy lip. And then we are going to set our face with the Professional Super Setter setting spray and then you are done with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed this look. for watching and staying tuned if you have any suggestions on future videos that you would like to see make sure you go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you would like to see make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell button so you can be notified when I put up a new video I also want to add that any products that I use will be listed down in the description box as well as all my social media outlets and my website that I am currently working on will be there as well, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. I am going to be trying to blog my way into life about just things. So my website will be there. Also, the information for Dossier Perfumes will also be linked down below, the fragrances that I have, and also their website, so you guys can go ahead and check out what you want to see up on there to see if you have any fragrances that are inspired up on their site. If you want to know any more information about the Dacia perfumes that I have, you can definitely go ahead and check out my Instagram, which will be also linked in the description box. I have all the information of the notes that are in there on my Instagram, as well as the perfume that is it inspired by. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you guys. Bye.